Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, Girl Brit Reacts, and today we're reacting to Norm MacDonald's jokes, but they're increasingly more savage. I don't know who came up with that title, but let's see what they mean by that. <laughs> Last week at a dramatic press conference about the crash of TWA Flight 800, ABC News correspondent Pierre Salinger displayed a document which he believes is proof that the jet was shot down by a U.S. Navy missile. Later, he proudly showed reporters his solid gold Rolex that he bought on the street for just $15. What? I'm lost. That's one ugly bastard, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just said what we were thinking. Finally, official murder is legal in the state of California. <laughs> Oh, Lord. A down and out O.J. Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> and there's Charles Woodson. How about that? I want to see... I do know, I was very young when that happened, but I do know that you either thought he did or you thought he didn't, and you were firm in whatever your belief was uh and so it seems as if sorry all this like piece of hair is bothering me uh it seems as if norm had his feet ten ten toes down into the fact that oj did it um <laughs> I, I mean good lord he's just like it's legal and then t for oj to have like the little smirk so these seem to be like clips the first two look like uh the weekend update on snl this looks like it's some type of live hosting gig or or another i don't know let's see and there's charles woodson how about that oh what a season he had who's that great Manny. oh this is the espies right the first defensive player to win the heisman trophy and congratulations charles that is something that no one can ever take away from you unless you kill your wife and a waiter in which case <laughs> A new book claims that Madonna they didn't think that was funny. smeared peanut butter all over John F. Kennedy Jr.'s body and then licked it up. Which just goes to show you, Madonna's a whore. <laughs> I mean, what? And finally, oh. weekend update. Would love Why to these congratulate photos? Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through oh Madonna's birthday. Oh my gosh. This week in a secret ceremony in Australia, Michael Jackson was married for the second to time. To Deb, right? That's what makes his new bride Deb? special. The king of pop said, quote, she has taught me about the power of imagination. Like imagining that a grown woman is a 10-year-old boy. These are savage. These are savage. These are savage. They're savage jokes. My God. You know he's a homosexual pedophile, right? You understand? <laughs> Sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th, and it's going to be named Michael Jackson Jr. Michael plans to be with the mother during the delivery. In his words, to make up for not being there for the contrast. Oh, my God. I don't know if these are written for him, but they feel like they're his opinions. Like, ah, <laughs> oh. Sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th. Did he start over? It's conception. The last word was conception, so. <laughs> oh, my Jackson. God. He, he said, I heard a quote where he said, he, he said, I don't care if, uh, my child is a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. as long as it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to name it. He said he doesn't know what he's going to name it. He said, he said he thinks if it's a girl, he's going to name it uh, Sharon. Really? Yeah. And if it's a boy, he's going to have sex with it. Oh, these are I came in. Too he was far. supposed to be the... Uh, my uh, kind of my guide through SNL. And uh. it turned out that 
He is a, a shitster. I'm not going to guide any lady through comedy. That would take me, uh, first of all, I'd have to figure out how a lady could do comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then I'd have to. Wow. Safer driving. Men? Or women. This well, could be, this is very appropriately named because they are getting increasingly more savage. I'm sorry to the person that I judged at the beginning of this. You named this video very accurately. My goodness, this man has no kind of filter. This is the Ovan's dad. <laughs> what? According to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Oh, wow. Please note that the percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> Norm. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do. Eh? <laughs> eh? Oh no, my I'm just God! Kidding. We don't hire women. Oh. <laughs> I wish he was alive today to like just kick everyone in the can who like can't take a joke. I'm flipping through this montage of shirts. <laughs> Gosh, Hillary looks pretty in this photo here, doesn't she? <laughs> Never realized she was such a looker until I see her here in this this picture. But you see, the only way Bill Clinton, or uh, Bob Dole can win, really, is if Bill Clinton is rocked with more scandals. You know, yeah. there's every day a new scandal comes up, you know. I heard this one today, terrible scandal, apparently. Back, way back when he was governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton, apparently, he got really drunk one night, and he had uh, sex with uh, Hillary. Wow. <laughs> It's a shocking, shocking thing. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been married? Seven months. Seven months, which is a record. <laughs> you know, I, this is the first... I've never... Re I've been married, Larry. Uh. But I've never been married, married. Married, married. This is married, married. Oh, married he's like playing Larry. Friend, like, I love her. I see. That's what Clinton says about his wife, isn't it? What's happening? In one what? other news, federal regulators quizzed Hillary Clinton at the White House this week and gave her a perfect score on the lying section. She's a dirty liar. Uh, you know, of course, they say the White House is haunted. Did you know that? And uh, I thought this was kind of sad. I heard uh, last night that President Clinton uh, charged uh, Abraham Lincoln's ghost 10000 to sleep in his own bed. So that's... That doesn't seem right to me, you know? I mean... What's happening? But look, the president, you know, has come under a lot of fire for raising money. But, you know, you know, he's good at it. He's good at raising money. That's not a bad thing. Every president's done it. It's just the President Clinton is the very, very, sipping, very good at it. The way he's sipping that water, it's like he wants to punch Norm in his face. I didn't know this about Bill Clinton. Was there, like, some scandal around the way he raised money for his campaigns or something? I, again, was very young when he was uh, the leader of the free world, so... Don't judge me, just help me out here, okay? Do you know he has organized in the past year over 100 fundraising dinners and over 200 fundraising midnight snacks? Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Is he laughing? Is he? You gotta check, Norm, you gotta check, you gotta check. <laughs> Okay, Norm, you're Canadian. Yes, I am. So what do you think of this whole presidential mess? Uh, well, I, I hope that uh, uh, the Democrats don't steal the election from the, uh, the winner, you know, but mm -hmm. who knows? Well, <laughs> well, there it is, folks. You like George yeah. Bush, don't you? I love George Bush, man. He's a good man, decent, you know, uh, none of this. Uh, uh, he's, uh, you know. Why is that the bar for some people when they talk about people? They're like, he's decent. It's like... You could be a lot better than decent, couldn't you? Like, I feel like people say that often. It's like, I don't, I don't want my president, my husband, anyone to be just decent, right? <laughs> come, come a little bit better than that. I don't know. It's just my not opinion. A, a, a lie or a crook, murder or anything like that. So it'd be good to get the. See, I, I don't. I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get like a 
uh, a fresh start because we don't want any more murderers. I know. What? Just go on to the next question. Oh. Oh. Right. Barbara, exactly. right. Well, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed <laughs> no, to, no, you're not no, allowed no, to put out no, no, no accusations without That's a little Charlie. too far. That's the way it doesn't let's work. Just, let's just go on to the next question. Uh, <laughs> Barbara Walters yeah. is such a real journalist. She's like, uh-uh, move on. We're not doing that. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure. I think, if I remember correctly, she was also not a dim, not a um, Republican, right? I don't know. Y'all will fill me in. But she was not having that. She shut that down real fast. This is not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> oh, it's not mine either. And I'm being very nice, okay? <laughs> Be a good boy. Now, Norm. Do you never hear that? No. Listen, no, we don't need I to don't talk get about into this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. Ooh. And you're supposed to be funny. Oh. Let's get on to it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Barbara was a savage in that one. Norm, but you have been properly chastised by Barbara, so I'm not going to ask the next question. I thought it was a matter of record. Shut no. up. Uh, no. Shut up. Okay. Let me do this, okay? okay. What's the matter of record? You will not be invited back. Oh, okay, sir. Tell him, sir. You will never step foot here again. Football. All right, man, manslaughter. To be clear, I, I've never heard of what he's talking about, and I'm sure y'all feel me in it. He is not letting this go. He's like, I, I do not care. Man, man slider. Man, man slider. <laughs> Norm, Norm. Norm. Whose phone is ringing? To do the show, you know. I gotta say, I felt kind of weird, you know. I, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, I used to actually be on this show. You know, uh, I used to do the uh, weekend update news routine. You remember that? And uh, yeah, that's where I did the make-believe news jokes. You know, that was me. Oh, right? okay. Thank you. So then. A year and a half ago, right? I had a sort of a, a disagreement with the management okay. at, uh, at the NBC. Uh, I wanted to keep my job. <laughs> they didn't want him to. And they felt the exact opposite. <laughs> so, so you see, they like uh, they fired me because they said that I wasn't funny. You know? Now, really? Now, with most jobs, is I that true? Had a hell of a lawsuit on my hands for that. But, but see, this is a comedy show. So they got me. You know? You know so I'm, they got. Me. You know what? So he got fired because they thought he wasn't funny, and then he came back as a host. Something's fishy here. Something is fishy. But now this is the weird part, right? It's only a year and a half later. Right. And now. They asked me to host the show. I'm with you, Norm. So I wondered, I go, hey, wait a second here. Hey! Hey! I go, how did I go in a year and a half from being not funny enough to be even allowed in the building <laughs> to being so funny that I'm now hosting the show? How did I so I need answers. get so goddamn funny? funny. Norm, I want the same answers as you. Because what? Yeah, well, two plus two is not equaling four. Because a year and a half, let's face it, is not enough time for a dude to learn how to be funny. <laughs> then it occurred to me, I haven't gotten funnier. The show has gotten really bad. Oh. <laughs> He might be right. So, yeah, I'm funny compared to, you know, well, you'll see later. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's recap. Norm. The bad Norm. news is Norm. I'm still not funny. <laughs> the good news is the show blows. <laughs> All right, folks, we got a bad show for you tonight. Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dog, and Eminem are here. That man was hilarious. Like, he really didn't care. Like, he really didn't care how uncomfortable he made someone, like how mad he made someone. <laughs> I'm excited to read your comments on this one because I had a lot of questions. All right, well, that was Norm, guys. And this is me telling you to have the day that you deserve. Bye.